Hi everyone, today we are going to make sushi. It sounds daunting, but it's super simple to make and delicious, absolutely delicious. And it just saves so much time having to go out and get it. And it's a fraction of the cost. And it's something fun you can do with your kids, you can do with your significant other. It's a great Valentine's Day thing to do with your kids and it makes it's fun for them. It's a great thing to have uh, activity to do with your significant other as well. So today I'm gonna to give you all the information you need to make sushi at home. So I'm gonna turn the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So you're gonna need a bamboo mat. You can get this at any local Asian store. And here I made sushi rice in, and you have to get uh, the label that says sushi rice. I made it in my instant pot. It's, I made four cups of rice and four cups of water. My niece got me this awesome nonstick um, insert and it works great for sushi rice because sushi rice is naturally sticky. So once your rice is ready, you need to put some of the sushi vinegar in the rice and stir it up, fluff it up. You don't need to put a lot, just a little bit. So I just put some, now I'm just gonna Mix it up nicely. And that's what's gonna make the sushi able to stick on the nori sheets. So there you go, there's my sushi rice. And I'm gonna use smoked salmon, but you could use, if you're adventurous and you want to use sushi salmon, you could. I just wanted to use smoked salmon. And here are my nori sheets. You do need to get the one that's for sushi for that We'll help make sure that it doesn't crack when you're rolling it. So here's my nori sheet. I'm going to lay it on there and I'm going to get a bowl so I can put some water. And that will help the sushi from not sticking to my hands. So I'm just going to tie my hair back and let's get to work. Okay. So here's the sushi rice. I'm just gonna put it on there. I'm gonna wet my hands. Get some more. Wet my hands some more. Get a little more. And then I'm just gonna pat it down. So. You definitely need to make sure you have your bowl of water because sushi rice is very sticky and it's going to stick to your hands. And then that makes a huge big mess. Unnecessary work for you. I'm just gonna put it a little bit like that and then I'm gonna take my hand and I'm just gonna pat it down like that, see? go so now you have your nori with the rice on it I am going to put a layer of smoked salmon so you put, I'm gonna actually slice it in half because it's too thick you just want you want to be able to have a good layer but not too much there you go there's your layer of smoked salmon I'm gonna put my avocado my sliced avocado and I julienne some cucumber so put my stick of cucumber or my stick and a quarter of cucumber and I'm just gonna roll it so there you go now the thing to roll it is you want to do it tight because you don't want to have You don't want it to be loose because once it's loose, everything falls out. It's not fun. And then, there you 
you go. There you go. Just press it, press it, press it. And voila, your sushi is ready. So now you need a super sharp knife. I'm going to get a tray, a, a plate, and put my sushi. I'm going to cut these all up like that so that they are in perfect little rounds. And we can serve them. The next sushi I'm going to teach you is a Korean sushi. And the Korean sushi is made with bulgogi beef. So once I set this up, we're going to do that. So now we're going to make a different kind of sushi we are going to do sushi with rice on the outside um, so it just it just depends on what you feel like making i like to do both but this looks really pretty and we're gonna start there you go i'm gonna wet my fingers again and here we are putting some more sushi rice so we want to have like a nice good layer of sushi for this one But we don't want to overdo it either, so I want to be careful not to overdo it. So there you go. So there's my, so I'm pushing, pushing it all the way to the end, because that's what you want to see. You want to see a good covering of white. Um, Spreading my hands a little bit and pushing it all the way to the end. So as you can see, it's going all the way there. It's a little thick there, but thin here. So I'm just gonna push it out and make sure that it's evenly done all the way across. So there you go. Pretty good. I'm gonna rinse my hands. And this one, we're gonna do shrimp sushi. I just bought the pre-cooked shrimp from Trader Joe's, but you can always get your own and cook it. And I just didn't want to do all that. Oh, oops, sorry. I forgot to flip it. So now if you're doing the if you're doing the rice on the outside, you just need to flip this over like that. And there are fillings. So here I have my shrimp. Two, three shrimp. We're gonna put an avocado. And a slice of cucumber. Or maybe a slice and a half. Because you want it to be all the way around. There you go. And now we are just going to turn it. So hold it in place and just turn it and squeeze. And then turn it and squeeze. And just turn it and squeeze. And voila, we have our inside out sushi. So here I have my tuxedo sesame seeds that I'm going to put in my hand. Put over here, it could just look so pretty with it on. You don't wanna to put too much, but you don't wanna to put too little either, so. There you go, and now we're gonna cut it. And with the sharpest knife that I have, with this is we have to clean it after every time we cut sushi because it tends to dull easily. So there you go. There is our sushi. So I'm just going to cut it so on and so forth. Cut it all the way till the end and layer it on my, on my plate. And the next one that we're going to do is the bulgogi beef Korean sushi. Okay, so now we're going to make the Korean sushi. Um, I'm going to again take my nori sheet 
lay it, lay it down here. Oop, I just need one. Lay it down here and wet my hands and put some rice on there. So now my, my Korean sushi, I'm gonna serve with kimchi as opposed to the pickled ginger that we serve with, with traditional sushi. So we are going to, I bought a bought I just bought a jar of kimchi from the Asian store and I'm just gonna serve a little bit of that with some soy sauce, the same way, wasabi, but there's no pickled ginger. I'm gonna do pickled kimchi, which adds the, which complements the flavor of the bulgogi beef that I'm gonna put in here. So as you see, I've done the rice and now I'm going to put my layer of beef. So my beef is here. It's right there. There you go. There you go. So it's my layer of beef. And for this, I'm going to use sliced sweet peppers. Because I feel like that really enhances the flavor of the beef. And I'm going to use avocado. There you go. And there you go. There's my avocado. And I'm going to put a slice of cucumber. I'm going to squish it all together so it's not too big. There you go. While I'm at the sink, I'm just going to rinse my knife again because you want to make sure there's no rice on there whatsoever for it to slice well. Okay, and now again, we're just going to turn it carefully, carefully, and squish it. And then we're going to turn it again, carefully, and squish it. Then we're going to turn it again, carefully, and squish it. There you go. There you go. Okay. So here is my Korean sushi. Um, I always like to slice the edge off this one because it gets me can eat it. I save it for myself to eat after I'm done presenting my bowl. But I like my my sushi to be just smooth around the edges so there you go there's korean sushi and i'm going to just layer my sushi so today we did we did um smoked salmon sushi we did shrimp sushi and korean beef sushi and honestly sky's the limit you could do anything else you want to do once i'm done slicing this i'm going to show you how to make the spicy the spicy sauce that they put on top of the sushi which is one of my favorite favorite things about sushi and then i just bought the pickled ginger which is right here the sushi, sushi ginger you can honestly get that at any any asian grocery store and sometimes even your local shop right would have it and here is wasabi and as soon as i'm done cutting this i'm going to show you guys what a beautiful tray of sushi we just made it's fresher, healthier, and it's a fraction of the cost of regular sushi. And it's so much fun to do. You can put all the toppings you want to make. Up, I mean, one of these days I'm going to get down to it and make a dessert sushi. And I can't wait to share that with you. I've had that many years ago. I, I don't remember where it was that I had it, but I had it many years ago and I loved it. And I think I'm going to try to make that for you guys one of these days. But in the meantime, here is my sushi platter. And you guys can do this too. It's so easy to make with your family, um, your kids, your significant other, or just for yourself if you want a really fun sushi filled night. There you go, ladies. And gentlemen, I have your sushi platter. Well, do follow me on Instagram, Slice of Gourmet, and my 
YouTube channel Slice of Gourmet and my website sliceofgourmet.com. Sign up. I'll send you newsletters and tips of the week and deals of the week. I would love to hear from all of you. I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous day.